It's afraid of what? Whee! Boop. It, it's not bad. Do you hear that? It's great. It's great for me. I've been sitting here for a while. And I got cold and I put on a jumper. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm testing out, you know those baby cameras on TikTok? The child ones where you're like, huh, that looks really cute and like very vintage and all this kind of stuff. But is it worth it? Does it work? And is it gonna last? So that's what I'm doing today. So I ordered the camera on Amazon. I have been wanting to film this video for ages. But then it was like too cold, I was lazy, whatever. We're gonna open it. Anyway. Oh. So let's open this because I'm so excited and then I can take pictures of inside. Oh. oh my gosh. I promise I'm just cold. I don't have the big C. Let's go ahead and open it up. This is so exciting. This is the box that it came in. It says children digital camera. I got it in the pink color because I thought that would be so cute. It says record childhood, keep beautiful. But I do want to point out the stuff on the back. And it says um, environmental protection, blah, blah. And then that one right there, it says afraid of wet. That is the most hilarious way to put it. Afraid of wet. You know what? Me too. It came with Peppa Pig stickers. You know what? I like these. I will use them. Um, is Miss Susie on here? What's whistling anyway? It's when you put together your lips together and blow. Oh, like this. Whee! Boop. And here's what it looks like inside. There's all the stuff that you get. It comes with, obviously, the camera itself. It's so cute. It's really small, actually. I mean, I knew it was going to be small, but this is like... So you get a bunch of accessories inside. So you get a micro SD. You get a USB. Oh! So this is a USB adapter. So basically what you do is you put the micro USB in the end here. Why did I hold it like that? In the end here. And then you plug the USB bit into your... What's it called? Into your laptop so you can look at pictures. The little micro USB... Um, I mean that micro SD card It's just the charging cord. Yeah, it's a standard micro USB to Micro wait no micro USB to USB charger. So it's like if you have an Android phone Any of those chargers will work. Um, and also it comes just with a little yeah little Lanyard which actually I will be using. Oh, there's an instruction manual at the bottom. Maybe I should read that Yada yada yada. Okay, whatever. I don't read this That's not my favorite sign, but okay, whatever. Let's see. Let's try and turn this on. Let's see if it has any battery. It turned on. It's cute, guys. It's adorable. Okay, so the camera mode, video mode, playback. I assume settings. There are games on this and music. Okay, so. This is what it looks like. That is the camera quality. It's a bit laggy, but that's to be expected. It, it's not bad. It's on full battery as well. And for the, for this little thing, it's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna take some pictures with it, and then we'll see how it is, and I'll come back to you. You know what? I just realized I just took a couple pictures, but I didn't put the SD card in. <laughs> Okay, so let's do that. And also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the date on this to the actual date. So I've seen some people set it to um, like a different date from what... Like they set it to like 2003 or something to get that like retro look or whatever. But I actually want to know what day I took all these pictures. So I will set it at the proper date. So I'm just going to go into the settings. And to like select, you click the one at the top here. You can do timers on this, so you've got delay, delay, why did I say it like that? Delay captures, so you can actually like set a self timer and like run away and take, you know, have those kind of pictures. So I think I'll play with that. Now once you go to date input, then you can change it there. So I'm just going to change it to the correct year and stuff. 
and you can also change the time. All right, awesome. So I changed the day and everything. The rattling inside is concerning me a little, but not too much at this point because actually everything's working. So let's go ahead and pop the SD card in. So that's where you charge it and that's where you put the SD card. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. It comes in a nice case, which is, you know, helpful because otherwise I really just be throwing it somewhere and then I'll forget about it. Oh, touch your bubblegum, dumb, dumb look. All right, so which way is it going? Well, it's not falling out if it's like that. to push harder so you put it in with the gold chip side facing like this and then just push really and then to get it out I assume you just push on that and then it pop. okay so I finished taking pictures and like videos with it I will put all the pictures up on the screen Okay, so this is the video option. This is what audio sounds like and what it looks like. Yeah, so those are like the pictures I took and it's on two bars of battery left. It is currently 15 minutes later, so 15 minutes about one bar, that, that's not too bad honestly. Um, Okay, so now let's go. I want to look at the music options and also the game. Okay, so games, um, it's that, that one right there. So let's go ahead and select that. Okay, so they've got Snake on here. Do they have other ones? Let's see. They have Push the Box, which is never heard of that, but you know. They have, I don't know what this is, a maze. Airport, plane. Counts by number. No, I did it. Okay, so like it's not anything too special. It's just like a standard game of snake. Oh, so you literally just push the block into the right place. Okay, that's kind of fun. I feel like I could see myself spending some time on that. It's so cute. Okay, now let's look at the music. That's the last option we've got here. Hello. Nothing's happening. <laughs> so I'm guessing that that just doesn't work. But yeah, so here you've got six options. Five of the six things here work. By the way, if you're wondering how you get from like this screen of like your camera, can you see that? Yeah. From your camera screen to like your playback center and then delete stuff, which I feel like is never ever ever covered in the TikToks, I will show you. So you basically, you're here, click this, the on button, or the off button, the power button, whatever, and then go ahead and select the playback, and then top button at there. And then once you get there, you're like, yeah, I knew how to get there, but how do you delete something? How do you delete something? You, cause this, it literally doesn't say in the manual, you just gotta figure it out. Like, but like, have fun. You, so you go ahead and click this, down arrow button and then it'll say delete one go ahead and click execute like a mid-century monarch oh also i will show you i will update on how long it takes for this to charge so it's currently on two bars of battery so it's currently charging and that's what it looks like it's kind of cute when it charges it's got a little, little pink light that lights up so it is now 239 which means it's been about an hour since i put little baby camera on charge and you think oh yep so it takes an hour to charge from two bars no she's still charging 
so it's been an hour now and she's not done so I will insert what time she finishes because I want to go eat lunch and I don't want to sit here and babysit anymore it's great it's great for me I've been sitting here for a while and I got cold and I put on a jumper okay bye so I'm just gonna put this lanyard on while I discuss my final thoughts so this camera can do many things actually it can um, take videos take pictures and it has multiple filters on it good thing is that it comes with um, what's it called a micro SD card and it also comes in an adapter that goes into USB which is something that's like highly highly um, accessible for a lot of people so I think that that was really smart design and I can imagine like going out with my friends and just taking a bunch of pictures on here the only thing that concerns me a little bit is the battery life so I don't really know if it would last the whole day I, I actually took it out and tested it and on full battery it lasted me the entire six hour day of taking pictures and videos with some downtime in between though for 32 gigs and for you, for you getting 32 gigs of storage a camera that works a lanyard a couple of funny stickers um, a charger and the little USB adapter for 35 bucks it's really good in my opinion it's like very easy and also you can delete and take more than one shot and you have filters so I mean I still I still have like a film camera and I will still use my film camera but this is actually really cute and I can see myself bringing this around like a lot this camera for the first time using it and everything I would give it probably like a 9 out of 10 the only thing that concerns me is that it's short on battery life and so I don't know whether this is going to fail or not so um, what I think I will do is I will post a one week update and show you all my pictures and how it's been going and like how I feel about it and whether it still works after a week because I read a lot of reviews that said that it stopped working after a couple of days like thanks for watching if you want to like see part two um, you can let me know or click the like button or subscribe so that you can um, so you'll be notified when part two comes out and you can follow along and see what happens so I'm as curious as you so <laughs> anyway thanks for watching I hope that you guys enjoyed a wonderful day morning night or evening or whatever it is and I will see you guys around bye